I don't know about you, but I love good melodies. Eddie Brown. Because y'all know good chords come from good melodies, right? Yeah, today we're going to show you that. Um, thank you, Sebastian. Check Y'all check out his channel, Weedworks. Um, it's because of Sebastian that we have all these cool videos that we've been studying, uh, bringing the gospel musicians to the world so for us to study. So please check out his channel. Check out the whole video. It's a really dope video. Um, today, and you know, to be honest with you, sometimes you just want to shed, man. Somebody will come to you and say, man, play me something. Play me some chords. And you, and you never have anything to play. Like, it's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> But this is one of those things that you could just say, you know what, let me just break out some chords. That's all I'm going to do for today's video. No context, no relations to other songs. So let's start from the top. Let's just do that there. So. This is some nice chord, man. If you want something to play and just, just sound nice, and learn this. So on the left hand, you just have this chord voice in here. Right? And then you're going to take this A flat down to a G. Okay? So it's going to be like this. That's all you got to do. And then after that, you're going to go to a B flat drop 2 chord. There's your B flat drop 2. So. Here's your E flat Lydian sound, which is just an F major triad over an E flat. So, slow down the video if you have to. And now he's kind of changing the key. Oh, that sounds so nice, man! You have this, you have this uh, D flat major seven here. Go ahead and try it out. So, and then you're gonna from here you're gonna jump to a A flat. Add two in drop two position. Well, it's not, not really, but you have an A flat add two here, and I just took the C and the E flat and dropped them to the bottom. So this is the first chord, and then that's the second chord, and the melody line will go like this. And then after that, you're gonna go. Oh man, this, this chord sounds so beautiful, man. You gotta find out the context, man. You can find out places to use it. I don't wanna tell you in this video in the comments. Let me know where you think you can use some of this stuff. Sounds like a Disney movie. Oh, it's that chord right there. Just kinda of like walking up the B scale, the B major scale, but starting on the A and C sharp. Right? In the left hand, we have an E flat dominant chord, which is E flat and D flat. I, I kept the G off because it sounded muddy. You guys gotta remember, these are my own chords. It's, it's our job as transcriptionists, because this is a transcription channel, to hear what someone is playing and to bring that into your own sound. So let's start from the top. So it's gonna be. that sounds man and the top and bottom notes are anchoring that melodic line is making it sound really good let me go up to that part so that you guys can see what's going on so after we go and then then we go to this a flat minor chord a flat minor nine which you can just see as being a b chord over an a flat minor a flat a sharp and b flat and then here i did this is where I change it up. I did more of my own voicing because I like how this melodic line goes. So the melodic line is just... See how nice that sounds? And so what's going to make that sound nice is while that's happening, you have an F sharp here. And you want to move that F sharp down to an E. So. And then if you and then if you hold that, and that's what I meant by anchoring the core, anchoring the melodic line with the sound, so the melodic line is happening against the held sound. It'll it'll you can hear it better if I raise up this pad underneath this. So check this out, right? Hear the pad? Turn up your headphones, man, so you can hear these harmonies and melodies, so you guys can learn something. Let's check this out. 
So I'm gonna start from here. Hear that pad? Now watch this. See how that E flat at the top anchor is the melodic line? It makes it sound really good. Of course you can do that well in the organ um, because it'll sustain automatically on the organ. But I like it with this because I have some velocity control there. And then after that, um, then he does. And then something like that. Let me turn the pad back down. I was only using that to show a point, but I love that pad though. <laughs> I'd have to show what those chords are. So after you have, They're gonna, they're gonna love it when you play this, man. So this is just a B flat dominant chord, and you do E, F, B flat, A flat, B flat. And we have this F major, F sharp major 13 sound, and then we go to an F minor nine, and then we go to back to E flat. So let's play this from the top, and then you'll have something to play now when somebody says, hey, Play me some chords. <laughs> Just learn this and then you got something. And then of course you'll you'll find out the context. As you play more, you're gonna start using it in other songs. there's more to this man this, he, he does a lot more of that y'all memorize these chords he does a lot more and so I think what we'll do is obviously I'll um, send the notes if you're on my website I'll break down those notes for you maybe show you that next session but for everybody else man Eddie Brown Eddie Brown we love melodies and harmonies on this channel <laughs> so subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys later man